Don't look inside this cave, or else Murray will appear. I accidentally fell inside, and creepy things happened. What is Murray hiding? And if you love Murray, drop a like. So I have been hearing weird noises when I stand next to the cave. What is happening inside? So Murray's cave is located right here and I have my detective outfit on. The lights then turned off and I began hearing strange noises coming from inside. What could be down there? I asked myself. I walked around Polis and I could still hear the noise coming from the cave. I was hoping that one of the crewmates would turn on the lights. But then I saw a crewmate floating right past me. It was Kim. What in the world just happened? I tried ignoring it by doing my task. Like a responsible crewmate, you know me guys. But when I checked vitals, I saw one crewmate was eliminated. Whatever is making that noise is taking crewmates with them. And when I stepped outside behind the rock, I saw something. It looked to be a hand. It was a very large hand. It was purple. It must belong to Murray. I looked down the pathway and I didn't see anything. So I headed over to the lab to look at the hole, which is where Murray's cave is located. I was looking inside with my bird, hoping to see if he could get a better view by flying, but we couldn't see anything inside. Is Murray coming in and out of the hole eliminating crewmates? If that's the case, we have to stop him. I did my last wire and I had to do the telescope, but as I was doing the telescope, I heard a noise, and the lights around me were starting to turn off. Murray is most likely here. After I got done with the task, I turned around, and in the darkness, I could see a hand trying to grab my crewmate, and then the floating crewmate Kim eliminated me. Is Kim working with Murray the imposter? What was even strange is that my body was on top of the telescope. I went over to the hole, and I tried to see if I could go inside. My game started to glitch, and I appeared inside of the cave as a ghost. But as you guys can see, Murray's cave was completely empty. Murray wasn't in here, which means Murray was most likely outside on Polis. Knowing that Murray escaped his hole, I was really concerned. So I stuck around with the crewmates trying to find him. Because we cannot take Murray down, right? We went to the lab together, and Murray wasn't here anymore. This was the location that he tried to grab me, but he wasn't near the telescope anymore. That's really strange. I then heard a noise, and I headed over outside, and to my surprise, I saw a fallen crewmate. I reported it, and that had to have been Murray, right? We couldn't come up with a solution, so I went back to doing tasks but I couldn't help but wonder whether or not Murray eliminated that poor crewmate. The lights turned off again. Does that mean Murray is going to appear for a second time? I ran out of there, and I went near the reactor, but then I saw a hand sticking out from the edge, and my bird noticed it as well, and he was looking up and down. Look at the size of this hand. This definitely belongs to Murray, and Murray is beneath Polis, using the holes as navigation. A body was reported and the guardian angel message appeared. That means Murray tried to eliminate me and I just didn't notice. I went back outside trying to see if I could find Murray anywhere. But then my game began to glitch and I heard the sound of a creature. Murray's head then appeared from right behind me. Wow, look at his size. Murray's head is really big and look at his sharp teeth. Murray was trying to get close to my crewmate, but then the lights turned off and I could no longer see anything. Luckily, one of the crewmates managed to turn on the lights and Murray was now gone. Orange's body was reported, which means that Murray most likely eliminated him which is really unfortunate. But I wasn't going to give up. I went down the pathway again and over to the hole. That's the hole that Murray should appear. As I was trying to get a better view, the lights turned off and I heard the sound of a creature. I ran out of there as fast as I could with my tiny legs. And I was running in pitch darkness. I couldn't see anything. I'm just hoping that my bird can protect me. But as I was running, I saw Kim again. The gray crewmate that was floating. How is it possible that this crewmate is walking without moving their legs? I continue to follow this gray crewmate who had lasers as eyes. How are they moving like that? We went over to the lab and then the lights turned off and I lost track of the floating crewmate. So I went over to electrical to turn on the lights. I need to find this gray crewmate again. 
Murray must have done this to the world and glitched it. And to my surprise, Gray was eliminated. We ejected one of the imposters and I've lost track of Kim. That crewmate must be an answer to this puzzle. So I went to security to check the cameras and I checked every single one and I was then eliminated. So I checked cameras again and you can see Murray's arm was sticking out of the hole. Murray must have went back into the cave and was hiding trying to not get ejected. Murray was hiding back in his cave and I can't let this happen. I need to get revenge for these crewmates. The lights around me were off and I went to the lab but the door was closed. Yes, the door that has Murray's cave. I am so scared of entering, I can't go alone. So I tried looking for another crewmate to go with me but I couldn't seem to find anyone. The lights were still off and I was near the giant rock but I continued to run in the darkness. I couldn't see anything. I was about to enter the office room and Murray appeared from right behind me. Look at his size. Is he going to eat my crewmate? He then closed the door on me. Yeah, he is definitely going to eat me. But Murray left me alone. I think he had other plans. So I opened the door, but that made me realize, wait, he's gonna go after another crewmate. So I went into the office and I checked vitals and everybody was doing fine. What is Murray looking for? Maybe he's looking for Kim, the crewmate that was floating earlier. I went back to the laboratory and the door was still closed. Did Murray go back inside his cave? I am going to open the door and see what's going on. So I entered, but then a reactor was called. It was a sabotage. We fixed a reactor. That must have been a distraction by Murray. But I had to look inside the cave to make sure if he was there. Wait, where is my bird? Did Murray take it? Murray then stuck his hand out of the hole and took my crewmate inside. I was now inside and where am I? I started walking around and at the very bottom it said Murray's cave. So I'm inside, but where is he? I tried looking for him, but it was just really dark. I also have no clue where my bird went. Did my bird just disappear? Maybe he went inside the cave. It was starting to get even more dark, and I heard the sound of a creature that could only mean one thing. It must be Murray. Murray then appeared from the shadows. It seems like Murray was here the whole time. But what is he doing here exactly? I regret ever looking inside. How am I going to get out? I then looked closely and Murray had my pet bird. Give it back, Murray. He did nothing to you. My bird then bit Murray, and Murray was in pain. That's what you get, Murray. But well, something is wrong with my bird. If you enjoyed the story, like and subscribe, and check out these other Murray videos.